What's up guys? We got a Plaid Model S that just came in. Uh, this client of ours actually just bought this used a few months ago and quickly discovered how bad the camber is on the back of these cars because the vehicle he had just bought already went through rear tires in 5,000 miles. So the insides of the rear tires corded and then he kind of discovered after the fact that he needs to get camera corrections done on this just like he did on his Model 3. He contacted us and we said we do have an economical solution for you if you don't want to go in and get fully adjustable, you know, camera arms for the back. So what we have here are these horseshoe shims that you might have seen on one of our Model X videos we released recently. So these horseshoe shims, this is kind of our middle one. We actually have a skinnier one and then we have a th even thicker one that's coming out soon. In the event you use lowering links and you really want to slam the car, you'll want to get the thicker shims to fix the camber for that setup. So we're going to go ahead and get these installed on the rear camber arms on the upper arm. You guys can see where these go. And we wanted to share with you what his before readings are so you can see the before and the after results. So check it out. This is what he's got. The car's actually not horribly aligned, to be honest. I mean, he's got a little bit of a, uh, a steer head over here. So this front toe needs to be fixed up, but you can see how much camera he has in the low setting on this plaid. Even the refresh S's would be like this. So it's about two degrees and uh, we're gonna get these shims put in and see what this number turns into. So check it out. so we're just about done buttoning up the rear end of the vehicle and check it out with our gray shims our middle shim offering dropped about eight to nine tenths of a degree so almost one degree and uh yeah it's very very acceptable so now that back wheel in the low setting is much more straight up and down so I don't know if you can see that on camera but it is a lot more straight up and down we hope we do not have any more inside tire wear. Now this car did have a blowout on the passenger rear. So he actually got a brand new tire over there like two weeks ago, but he did not do this one. So we've told him to buy a new tire here, but you can see this is what happens. This is where all the cording occurs. So everything looks really great out here. All out here it looks okay, acceptable, but right here, it's not even like in this tread, it's literally on the shoulder right here where you've got a problem. So he's going to replace that tire, but now at one degree of camber versus two degrees of camber at low, this thing should be ready to rock and hopefully won't have these problems anymore. Now, another tip is on the refresh, the P2s, you guys can move to a square tire and wheel setup. You can even go really wide and that'll allow you to rotate all four tires. That's going to be a huge, huge help to you guys as well. I don't recommend doing staggered setups on the P1s. You kind of didn't really have a choice. They didn't have a lot of backspacing up in the front, but on the P2s, you have a lot of backspacing up front. You can run a, easily a 10 inch wide square setup with 285s or 295s all the way around, rotate them. And that's gonna be a huge savings as well for you guys on your pocket. All right, thanks for watching guys. We hope this was informative. If you guys want these shims, we do ship them out. They're in the link in the description below. Please support us. We appreciate you guys. We'll see you on the next one.